the gym and force them to meet you in the library? Are you crazy? Miss Garrison, I'm surprised you know where my office is. Take the lock off that gym. My phone hasn't stopped ringing. Maybe someone on the other end of that phone has a solution to our problem. Your intentions are good, Mr. Carter, but your methods are a bit extreme. You painted an extreme picture. No one expects them to graduate. No one expects them to go to college. So you take away basketball, the one area of their lives where they have some success? Yes, ma'am. And you challenge them academically? Yes, ma'am. And what if they fail? Then we fail. Unfortunately, Mr. Carter, both you and I know that for some of these kids, this basketball season will be the highlight of their lives. Well, I think that's the problem. Don't you? You've opened it. Oh, I get all the blame now? Let's just say I'm happy to give you all the credit. <laughs> I've got every news reporter in town waiting to speak to you. I've got a press conference set up around the front of the gymnasium. Coach Carter has taken the lockout to the next level by canceling last night's game. Richmond forfeited the game, making it their first loss of the season. And for now, the lock remains on the gym. Here he comes. Here he comes now. Coach Carter. Coach. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to thank you for your patience. At this time, I'd like to introduce Coach Ken Carter. You may direct your questions to him. Mr. Mr. Carter, is it unfair to the players whose grades qualify them to play? Basketball is a team sport, sir. We support each other on and off the court. Anybody still think Coach Bluffing now? You know, I feel like running right up in the middle of all those reporters and telling them I think this is bullshit, son. Maybe you should have gone to class, Lyle. Maybe you should kiss my ass, dog. My grades are fine, homeboys. Junior, they should have locked out. Hey, right, hold up. Maybe Junior kick your dumb ass. Why don't you try spelling the thing, homeboy? Chill, 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 man. man. Damn. Junior, if you need help, I'll tutor you. Man, I don't need no help. Well, he ain't lock us out for no reason. You've been tripping lately, man. Oh, y'all know it. How do you think the community's gonna react to this lockout? I hope they'll support these young men. What, man? No, man, it's just funny, dog, because Junior, man, I mean, you thought it was bad. All us knew your dumb ass was spelling science. Now the whole world about to know your dumb ass spelling science. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, <thank> you. <laughs> and you have Fremont this Saturday, the biggest game on your schedule. Now, Richmond is going to riot if you forfeit that game. Saturday is a long way off. Let's see what happens. Thank you all for coming. That's all the time I have right now. I have to get back to work. Coach, have you talked to the parents? Have you talked to any of the parents? Thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to remind you that classes are in session, so as you leave campus, please do so quietly. I ain't turning the chief. Come up in my hood. I'm serious. Young sirs, it's been a long day. Reporters, media everywhere. Let's take this time to say whatever it is we want while the doors are closed. You have the floor. This is about us. Man, this shit ain't about us. This is all about Coach Carter. We're the basketball team. All I see is you on TV, getting famous, eating that shit up. Is that all you see? That's all I see. <clears throat> you ain't lying. Well, let me tell you what I see. I see a system that's designed for you to fail. Now, I know you all like stats, so let me give you some. Richmond High only graduates 50% of its students. And of those that do graduate, only 6% go to college. Which tells me when I walk down these halls and I look in your classrooms, maybe only one student is going to go to college. Well, damn, Coach Carter, if I ain't going to college, where am I going to go? Now, that's a great question. And the answer for young African-American men in here is this, probably to prison. In this county, 33% of black males between 18 and 24 get arrested. So look at the guy on your left. Now look at the guy on your right. One of you is going to get arrested. Growing up here in Richmond, you're 80% more likely to go to prison 
than college. Those are the numbers. Those are some stats for your ass. Now I want you to go home and look at your lives tonight. Look at your parents' lives and ask yourself, do I want better? If the answer is yes, I'll see you here tomorrow. And I promise you, I will do everything in my power to get you to college and to a better life. story out of California that's getting national attention. The entire boys basketball team at Richmond High School has been benched. The highly ranked Oilers have a perfect season on the court, but some players were in big trouble academically and in an unprecedented move, Coach Ken Carter canceled practice, locked the gym, and sent his players straight to the library. Now at the start of the season, I understand you made all of your players sign a contract before they could join the team. What exactly were the conditions of that contract? The contract states that the players must maintain a 2.3 grade point average and that the players must attend all their classes and sit in the front row of those classes. Well, Coach Carter, it's an unusual strategy and a risky one in a sense in light of your team's winning record, but I think there's going to be a lot of people out there pleased to learn that at least somebody still cares about the concept of the student athlete. Thanks a lot for joining us today. I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm Coach Ken Carter of the Richmond High School basketball team. Um, I need to ask you a favor. My team is studying in the library, and I've been trying to tell them the brains and you have a perfect combination of everything. I'm just saying, though. I mean, I'm one, baby. Like, I don't like to watch the one. Work. Hey, we get that backpack. Oh, watch out too short. Why study earth science or history or algebra? Getting good grades in those subjects combined with basketball skills can get you into college. Girl, you should have bought it. I would have worn You selfish son of a bitch. You snake. Miss uh, No, 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 Carter. miss me, snake. Mr. Carter, you remember me? Now, after all the things that my son has been through for your team, for you to go and lock up this gym like this, how dare you? I'm like, you ain't got no Coach Carter, right? Yes, sir. Yeah? Check the door. Don't you know, hold on, man. Oh. Yeah, how you like that? Hell no. What, what? You want to get out of the car? What? What we got? Let's talk about it. Ain't nothing to talk about. Just get out of the gym, man. Let the boys go. You don't want to trust me. You don't want me out of this car. Yeah, see? Get on. Get on. Don't be no punk. Say what you got to say. Come on, man. Punk. Relax. Let it go. No, I ain't let nothing go. These people in Richmond, God damn it. Relax, Dad. Damn it! Relax, relax. Chill out. It's over. It's over. All right? It doesn't mean anything. It's over. Let it go. Come on, get back in the car. Let's go. 